Hey, fellow comic book fans. The following clip originally appeared in episode number 8 of the Brazen Bulls comic book podcast, which was published on March 21st, 2018. Check the description for the link so that you can listen to the entire episode, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Kick ass! Number 2, by Image, writer Mark Millar. So, here we are, joining our heroine as she finishes off her... Uh, fight raid to uh, get money to essentially pay her bills because of her lousy now ex-husband um uh what do you think dave i really liked it um patience is a great character she's really believable she's trying to just get by but as a consequence of trying to get by she becomes a hero and you know, this this first robbery was supposed to be a one and done, but as the story is going on, she's getting drawn into something that's kind of a little bit out out of her control. And I just love the way the story is evolving. You know, it's it's got some depth to it. It's got some uh, some risk involved, and and she is a hero in an ordinary way that's becoming a superhero. And and I just think it's terrific the way this is laying out. And in addition to that, I really love the art. I mean, this is, it gets me in the story. It, it's like dark and, you know, there is real violence and real consequence and definitely a fair amount of peril there. Um, I'm on board with this 100%. I'm really happy, happy to see it come back again. I can agree with that one. Um... Absolutely. It makes me nervous at the same time because I know where these types of things can lead. I think we all do. We all read comic books. <laughs> it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. I mean, you got that one off and but then, you know, real life happens. It's like she wants to go to school and do the job and take care of her two kids without dealing with her husband. It, you know, it starts to bills start to pile up. She's got to deal with this stuff. And as she continues to use her her brilliance and her her training, um, it shows she's how capable she truly is. On top of that, you also start to see she keeps saying, I'm not a hero, yet it starts to leak in this episode, and it starts to draw her into that other life, which, let's face it, for most heroes, causes them trouble a lot of times. Yeah. There's going to be a price to pay, that's for sure. Absolutely. And as actually I've been thinking about recently, um, just like Charlie, I've started to relate more to villains than heroes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I feel like this is another situation where it's just like, eh, are you sure you want to go that way? But hmm. otherwise, absolutely great. Once again, the writing is great. The art works so well with this story. Um, I'm very happy after going off the first episode to the second episode. So far, so good. Yeah, absolutely. And um I think too what what really yeah I enjoyed the book as well what what really got me or gets me with Kickass um, with this series is that there's so much more to the book than just the violence and just the action scenes you know when you sit back you know reread the book or or even just reflect on what you read it, there's a whole lot going on like you said Ben you know life happens and since we get to see that here there's a certain authenticity that i think a lot of readers wouldn't necessarily expect from a comic book like this you know there's a certain amount of depth that again a lot of readers i don't think would expect from a book that's known for you know being very action-packed and being kicking ass kicking ass you know yeah. a lot of times I don't even want to say most times, but it happens where something has to be sacrificed. And I don't think we're really missing out on anything here. I think that it's a very entertaining book, a very entertaining series so far, two issues in. It looks great. It's very well written. And there's always good reason to come back for another read. So I'm very impressed with this um, so far. Um, so how about we give our scores, guys? Um, Dave, what are you giving this one? 8.5. Ben? 8. And it's going to be an 8.5 for me as well. So kick-ass number two gets a collective 8.3.